So this is what strategy number seven is all about, is who we're being. And that brings us right back down to, you know, something that happened between the ages of five and seven, and then everything that's got hooked up on that barb ever since. And we are being that wounded child today, but we don't recognize it, we don't know it. And that's why, yes, you have to do the work, but you can't do it alone. So this is why we have to be working with somebody so that we can see what that is. Because even if we see what the incident was, we're not necessarily seeing how it's playing out in today. And this is, this is coaching in a nutshell. It's all about who the person is being. Yes, we have to take the action, as I talked about over there, I guess. We have to take the action and on every decision that I talk about, right? Is you, you get the idea. So if we have this person, we get the idea, it comes in, we think about it in our conscious mind, then we feel about it in our subconscious mind, and that feeling will always, always feed this thought and change it. So we'll always feed the thought into, yeah, I love that idea, okay, let's go with it. And then from the thinking comes the action, and these give us the results. <laughs> That's a cool one. <laughs> and this gives us the results, right? But it's all about this feeling. So if this feeling is, oh, I don't know, just a minute, hang on. And when we don't even understand what this feeling is based on, so the base of this feeling, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's coming up from when we were children, when we were programmed from, you know, pre-birth. And especially through all of that programming we had in the beginning years and then between the ages of five and seven, when we start making decisions on our own and we have that incident that happens that to anybody else, right within one foot, you know, close proximity, it's nothing at all. But to us, we have this emotional impact from whatever this incident is that's typically between the ages of five and seven. And then we enter into this agreement with ourselves. And we actually split, but I think we've been split long before that. But so down here in our heart, right, we're a soul, right? So there's, there's this being that's born, and it's taking all these actions, but there's something more than just those actions happening out of that newborn baby, right? And it's a beating heart, and the way it snuggles up to you, and all that stuff. Well, so there's a soul, if you will, and then when we, especially when we have this, this soul breaks into the soul, which is our survival. Well, it's up here, soul is our survival, let's say. But it breaks into this soul that's here to have this experience that we came to have, live the life we came to live to grow. And then we have this ego. And this ego is for our survival as well, and it's also for growth, but this is the thing that, that's there to protect us, if you will. So it's our ego that has us follow through or not follow through, get excited about something or get scared about something. And unfortunately, most of our foundation is full of fear. Be careful. Don't do what somebody else did, because you know what happened to them. You know, don't pay more money than what you have in your mind that you need to pay. Because, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. You know that, right? Well, no, it's energy. Energy doesn't grow on trees. So people see it as, you know, pieces of paper growing on trees like leaves. And it doesn't do that. No, it's just energy. It's really so simple. You serve people, you're giving your energy to them, and then they give you energy back. Today, it just happens to be in the form of money. Currency way back in the day was, you do this service for me, I'll do this <coughs> service for you. Or you do this service for me, and like doctors, right? Doctors would get a pie or a pig or a chicken or whatever, and then they couldn't handle all these. They weren't farmers. 
right? They were doctors. So, you know, then they brought in an easier currency than pigs and chickens and stuff. That's all money is. It's an exchange of energy. So it's all about who we are being. So if we're being conservative, and God bless us as Canadians because we are very conservative. Some people are more conservative than others. And then those ones who take risks. Oh, don't we like to talk about them around the dining room table at Thanksgiving and Christmas? Because they got egg in their face. And again, it just comes down to the results. <coughs> there's no good, there's no bad. That's just the way you see it. There's simply results. For when we label them as good or bad. Now we're telling ourselves, we're telling the subconscious mind, this feeling mind. Because we have a certain feeling about good, right? It's an uplifting feeling. Yeah, I'll do that one again. Yeah, I feel good about that. Oh, that's bad. No, I'm not going to do that one again. I don't feel good about that. Well, it's neither good nor bad. Is this a result that you want again? The same as the decision. Is this something you want? And then you get the result. Hmm. Is this a result I want again? No. I want a different result. Not a better result. A different result. So then I'm going to do something differently. Okay, so everything. All of these strategies we're talking about, it all comes back to who we're being.